Hey guys, what's going on? This is your old pal CHH, and today we're talking about one of the most charming slasher films of all time, Mad Man. Now this is the Arrow Video 4K, we're going to talk about why I got this one, and just the movie a little bit, and we're going to compare like the special features with this one to the Vinegar Syndrome one. Okay, so when I got into the slasher genre, like when I started watching these movies, of course you watch the basics, and I don't use the words basics as a you know, a negative term, but you watch the Fridays, the Halloweens, the Elm Streets, the Texas Chainsaws, you get all those out the way. Then you kind of creep into, like, the burning. The burning is, like, the real connective tissue because of the Tom Savini connection with him working on Friday the 13th and then immediately going to the burning. And I'll never forget, I started watching, you know, some of my YouTubers I still watch to this day, I think it was Pizzle, I'm sure it was, where he brought up a slasher film after he had talked about The Burning, and he says, there's another one called Mad Man. And two things to me that are crucial for making a legendary slasher film. Number one is you got to have a great title. And when I think of the slasher films, I look at The Burning as a great title. I look at My Bloody Valentine as an incredible title. I look at Mad Man as a fantastic title slasher movie title. Madman is a great title. And the poster game for the slasher films is equally as good in a lot of ways. And when you look at some of the slasher movie posters, I think the Madman poster is among the very best. It definitely sets the tone for you to know all hell is about to break loose in this film. I love the silhouette of Madman Mars in the front. He's huge. He's got the axe in his hand. And you just know this guy is a force to be reckoned with. And that's what makes Madman so great. When it comes to slasher movies, guys, I am always going to be more into the bigger characters. Because I can't help but always think to myself when I watch like a Scream movie and even a Freddy movie, even though not so much Freddy because he's technically like a demon and he can do whatever he wants, but more so with something like a Scream where the killer sometimes isn't as big as his victims. And I say to myself, that guy probably could have whipped his ass. Well, in a movie like Madman, I don't care who you are. The only person that may be able to put up a good fight against Madman Mars is potentially like Shaq. But even so, Madman would probably get the better hand of old Shaq. Madman is one of those slasher films that's not perfect by a country mile. You think about the way these movies were made back then. Quick, low budget, and I don't think they necessarily had viewfinders the way they do now when recording video. You can see exactly what you're doing. I have a monitor right here that shows me that I'm in focus when I'm making this video. But back then, I think they couldn't even see the footage until a few days later when they got it all processed. So with all that being said, there are a few moments in here, particularly in the camp campfire scenes in the beginning where you'll notice some of the faces are just ever so slightly kind of glowy and that's because the camera was just a touch out of focus now the thing about that watching it in 4k obviously it doesn't put the characters back in focus but with the clarity of a 4k like this and maybe i'm just excusing this a little bit and i accept that but what i love about it on the madman 4k is that you almost get the sense that you're in some sort of like a dreamlike state. Now, there are little moments here and there, so don't think the movie's out of focus, because it's not. But you'll see what I'm talking about when watching the film. And I mentioned that there was a campfire scene in the beginning. It's one of my favorite campfire scenes in a slasher film. We set the tone right away to know that in these woods, in this camp, is Madman Mars. Don't go looking for him, and don't say his name. So guys, when it comes to the slasher genre, when it comes to the slasher titles of the early 80s, there are a ton that you could throw at me and say, is this one good? Is that one bad? What do you think about this one? There are slasher films that I like, that I wish I really liked more, and I feel like I should, but the reality is they just aren't movies that I want to watch that often. For instance, like The Prowler. I like The Prowler, but I wish I loved it. I'm not saying there are things about this that make it better than other ones. I'm not saying that this movie is shot better, performed better, acted better, but there's something about Madman that is this X factor that you cannot deny. At least I can. Needless to say, it's one of my favorite slasher films from that time. So I love it so very much. And like I said, this is the Arrow Video 4K for this. The reason I didn't get the, the Vinegar Syndrome one, it's this simple. I just never got it. I had the Blu-ray from Vinegar Syndrome, and I was enjoying that copy. And when the 4K came out, I think I just did get it right away, and then I kind of forgot about it. So long story short, a few months ago, I was thinking about this, and I said to myself, you know what, Mad Men is a title I actually frequent a lot. I watch it once to twice a year since I've found the film, and that's a shoot. I have continuously watched it because I like it so much. I was like, maybe I should get that on 4K. I mean, why not? And then an Arrow announced the 4K, and I was like, well, that sounds like it could be a good way for me to jump into the film. 
Now, there's a ton of special features on this, but I also wanted to know what the Vinegar Syndrome one had, so I got a buddy of mine to actually send me the back of that one. But before we get to that, let's look at this actual release. All right, guys, so there's our artwork, and it's really cool. We've got this red background of the woods. You've got the silhouette of Madman, and then the title's right there in red. Of course, you can have that art on the actual uh, case itself, or you can reverse it to the poster art. There was actually an alternate poster art, the original style, where it was this, but there was a boy and a girl at the bottom of the Madman silhouette. And I think that one either got changed or pulled. But this is like the poster that we really know and love for Madman. It's a one disc release. It keeps it simple. Mine's my player right now. Uh, all the special features are on the 4K disc. I used to worry about that sort of thing, but when they're using those big uh, storage discs nowadays for 4K, there's plenty of space to go around, so you can have your movie on there with special features. You're also going to get this cool little booklet about Madman, which I really like. You got some pictures and some write-ups in here. Very, very cool. Just a really fun, charming slasher film, man. I love it. All right, guys, let's go look at the back of this to look at the special features, because there is a lot. And then after that, I'll show you a comparison shot of this with the... Um, Vinegar Syndrome release, and we'll see how it looks. They should be pretty identical. All right, guys, so as you can see, there's a ton of special features. Obviously, there's, you know, the old audio commentaries with uh, Joe, Paul, Tony, and Gary Sales. There's I'm Not a Screamer, a 2022 interview with star Galen Ross, The Legend Still Lives, 30 Years of Mad Men, a feature-length retrospective documentary on the slasher classic, including interviews... Uh, Mad Men Alive at 35, the early career of Gary Sales. The Mad Men producer discusses his career. Convention interviews. Uh, the track Escape from Hell You from CKY frontman Darren Miller, which is really cool. In Memoriam. So a lot of special features and a lot of old stuff as well. So the newest thing is that interview from 2022 with Galen Ross, which I think was done for the Vinegar Syndrome release. So guys, as you can see, it's very, very similar. The one thing you see on the back of here uh, is the dead pin interviews for the Vinegar Syndrome one. Thanks again to Dream Emulator for sending me this as well. Check them out on YouTube. The dead pin interviews are, in fact, on the Arrow release. So I think these are pretty much identical. All right, guys, so listen, that's it. Madman from Arrow Video on 4K. You can go on Diabolic or Orbit and pick this up, guys. A sensational, fun slasher film that is here to stay. I'm so glad that this is on 4K because there's still a lot of slasher films that probably could come to 4K, maybe even should. And the thing about Mad Men is the reason this is on 4K is because I think this film just refuses to die. You know, there was never a sequel. I don't know that there ever could be one. I know the guy that plays Mad Men himself is still alive and well. Uh, but at least I think he is, but it never will die. And that's what I love about this film. It's a cozy campfire slasher film that has all the atmosphere and a creepy killer with Madman Mars. So if you haven't seen this, guys, I really think you're going to like it. Turn out the lights, pull up the covers, and don't say the name Madman Mars too loud out there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Huge, giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind-the-scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.